should be out there on the airwaves. I mean, right. that's right. Now the wrong. question is, if you, if, and if, you, if you guys and the cast had any opportunity to play a different role of the ponies, which role, which ponies would you want to play and why? Big Macintosh. <laughs> song to, to speak for the Brony community and it still still grabs me in the heart. I love that song. You're here, here Mando Pony. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Question. As a little bit of a teaser, can you say any lines from season four? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. I can. Look, there's a moose! <laughs> <laughs> The best trait of the show? Oh, there's so many. That friendship is magic? <laughs> <laughs> I love all the elements of harmony. Uh, also, do you guys have any like, favorite foods? I have a lot of foods I like. <laughs> have you been following Twitter? <laughs> Chocolate! Chocolate! Gemstones! <laughs> Chocolate! <laughs> and chocolate. I, expanding on your earlier question, knowing that you both do multiple characters and you usually have everyone together when you're recording a session, how do you approach a moment where more than one of your characters has to talk to each other at once? How do you do that in a session where it's sort of all one take? Um, so it's we've got a little bit of practice at it now, so it's pretty smooth. And if we've got them, um, we just go go for it in the scene. We don't disrupt the scene. So if we've got two lines and it's you back to back, you just switch, um, take a beat, and switch. Um, and then when we've got the group stuff, we usually do two passes of the group. And Ashley and I um, always do it twice. So it's like one, two, three. And then one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Good question. Who are your, who are your favorite uh, voice actors? Andrew yeah. Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> we, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We, we, we practiced that before we came because that was asked for them. <laughs> <laughs> we love each other in the show, all of us. We, it, it, we're, we're a big family. Mm -hmm. I like, um, I'm a big fan of Nancy Cartwright, too. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and uh, the oldies or the goodies. Mel Blank is the, to me, he's the best. Oldest guy. Would you consider a Quest Your Girls a kids movie or a preteen slash teen movie, considering Sunset Shimmer enslaving a school of high school students and trying to take over the world? Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> both. The movie. The demons. <laughs> Oops. Nothing. <laughs> I think there's something in it for everyone, don't you? I think it covers a lot of territory. It depends on who's viewing it, and that's how, and that's then what you get from it. Like how you go, how you yourself go into the movie with what you are open to is your own visual, your own version of it. And um, how did you react to fanfics when you first found out about them? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. I think it's nice that people are able to express their creativity and have found an outlet for that. And I think there's other people that really enjoy them. Um, I personally haven't read any, but um, I know that um, no. fans get a lot of joy from them, so... Cupcakes! No! 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 You clearly know more than we do. I think that I agree. I think that all the creativity that's been uh, spurred from the show is amazing. Like right down to you, the, the production of it, the writing of it, the music, everything is fantastic. You guys are just exploding in creativity, so I think that's the greatest part about it all. Okay, pardon me if I'm a little bit nervous. This is my first time actually asking a question to superstars. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually have questions. Try to see if I can get them through them quickly. Uh, first one for Megan. If Cyber 6 were to come back in any particular way, no matter what type of animation, <laughs> which, the anime is in, would you voice it again, if you could? Can't What's wait. happening right now? <laughs> Cyber 6! <laughs> Hi, Black Home. Are you wanting to address Megan McCarthy? <laughs> oh, you said Megan, but um, do you mean me? There you go. Sorry. Yeah, that's I'm sorry. Here's my nervousness coming up. It's quite all right. Can you repeat the question, though? Okay, yeah. If Cyber 6 were to come back in any form, or animated form, would you voice it again? Oh, absolutely. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for episode 14. Yeah. I, 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 I was very saddened by the fact that that did continue, since it was left as a cliffhanger. Um, I don't know if it will ever continue, but I would love it if some production company came and picked it up again. I would so be there. <clears throat> I'm sure a lot of people would think the same way. Um, and another one for Andrea. Not her name, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. There is a little show on Disney XD called Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. Yes. On that show, you voice one of the characters along with Lee and Ashley. Do you enjoy doing voices for that show just as much as Pony, or is it just either more or less? I enjoy it also. <laughs> no, it's fun, and part of what makes it fun is like, like what you touched on is, and what Kathy was saying earlier is that we all know each other. Um, we just have a great community of voice actors uh, in Vancouver, um, some really talented people, and when you work on a different show, it's different dynamics, and it's just fun fun to work with those people. So, yeah. And the third question is for both of you. In regards to the show, is there a moral that the show hasn't picked up on that you would like to see done by the writers? That's a great question. That might take some thought, but that's a great question. Um, wow. Because the elements of the harmony are constantly played out in different ways, so... I don't know if there's one that's not really been covered. I mean, you could look. There is a staff that coming. Oh, I mean, there definitely will be in different shades, but I mean, for me to think about that right now, wow, that's a great question. Continue with the, com you know, one thing I love about the show is that no matter what the problem is in the show, if there's a concern or there's a conflict or something that hasn't, there's always a solution, which, which tells me and I, I'm, that there is always a solution to all of our problems. It's just how you look at it, you need to give it time, maybe not judge it, 
and don't be afraid to ask for assistance or reach out. So that's what I love about the show. Whatever the storyline is or whatever's happening, there's always a solution. Nice answer. I really believe that, yeah. Thank you. All right, and my final question is a very vague one, but let's see if a lot of people here can pick it up if they're on, if any of you have a DeviantArt account. Ponies and go-karts. Yay or nay? <laughs> I'm glad to say that because I'm one of the conceptual artists for Pony Cart, and if anybody has any questions on that, I'll be around. Are dragons on Pony Cart? Spike is one of them. Yes! <laughs> it's been two years. Come out with something. Thank you. Thanks. How was it to work with uh, John Delancey? Yeah, I really want to. Yeah, he records in LA, as does Tara, so we don't have the honor of recording with them. But we have met him at many conventions and had a chance to connect with him that way. And I've just experienced his character in the show. So okay. he's great. Sometimes it's fun, it's interesting like that when you do a show and you don't even, they, we didn't know who was doing the voice of it. Mm -hmm. It was just blank. It was like no one was in for that. And then we got, it was a surprise for us too when we saw it. We're like, what? We get surprised all the time, let yes, me tell you. We do. Hi, um, I have two questions and just something I'd like to say. Uh, the thing I want to say is whenever I feel stressed or upset, I just I just put on an episode of My Little Pony and I'm so much happier. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. And I feel, and yeah, and that's one reason. Do you guys feel the same way? And that is one of the reasons why I will never read cupcakes. <laughs> Drop it! Woo, I'll never mention it again! One question. Uh, could you first could you just say hi to my friends who can make it? I'm videotaping this for them. Hi, friends who can make it! <laughs> hi, friends who couldn't make it! You should make it next time if you can. We'll find a pony and get here. Thank you. Um, and second, I know you've probably been asked this many times, but what was your reaction when you first started to see the Brony community form? Um, delight, shock, amazement, um, for me relief, in a way that we're going back to heart, really relief in that sense, and um, the hope that it will continue to expand and expand. I think it's one of those things to, um, it's hard to explain, and I think that's probably something that you all deal with, you know, oh, this is this thing, but you come to one convention, you bring someone to one convention, and you meet and you interact one-on-one, -on -one, and you get it. Like, it's awesome. So, yeah, we're happy to be here, and we're happy you're here, too. So, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello, cute alert. You look pretty fluffy. And if I had any hints, I'd give them to you. Oh, I'll Close your eyes and make a wish, and tomorrow it might come true. I have a question. Boy. I have one question. Um, what if Pinkie Pie and Glitch are talking to each other?
one of my, beyond the show itself, one of my biggest joys from the fandom is just art and YouTubes and stuff like, you know, that, and all things, and, um, should I have a question for <laughs> both? Um, and, you know, do you, do, 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 uh, sorry. Oh, Lily. Um, what are your reactions to, like, you know, it has, there's so much more around it that things, like, sometimes it's, I find it so much more amusing that there's, you know, sure, when there's no episodes, you go online and somebody's made a Klein comic and somebody's made a YouTube video and somebody made a fan song and all that that just can be so amusing and I try to contribute myself and it's just so much fun. And then another thing is that, that background characters can be sometimes focused on so much, it seems that they shown up in the show for some reason because people like them. And, you know, I find that amusing too. I think what's fantastic is it's you guys, the fans, who pick up on the little idiosyncrasies that Megan and the other writers write into the show, and then you guys give them life, and they grow and grow and grow. So there's still, so that tells you again, there's just something about this show that is magical, that starts to like little leaves on little branches and brand new trees and little buds and flowers, it just grows and grows and grows. So you guys, it's like fascinating to me because you guys are making that happen too. It's like we're all in this show together, and we're all making it, keeping it alive, and we're all making it grow and expand. That's how it feels to me. I think this next question is our last question. Sorry, guys. But come see us. We're both going to be here at 10:30 tomorrow. And and I and our I know for myself the length of my audition session can be extended too. So these are yeah, as these long are as loose times, but we will be starting at times. Yes. Yeah. Say. Um, so make it good, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I actually had a voice request for Andrea Hansen Thomas. This is kind of cool. Awesome. <laughs> what? <laughs> Chicago and natural enemies. Those fight for dominance over the rest of years. <laughs>